Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone and welcome to my presentation. First of all, thank thank you for watching this video. My name is Fahmi Fatou Rashadi. I'm lecturer at Faculty of Sharia Universitas Islam Bandung, West Java, Indonesia. And in this bright opportunity, I'd like to present my research titled with Analysis of Islamic Law Towards Article 181, Compilation of Islamic Law or KHI, which is submitted to Social and Humanities Research Symposium or SORES 2020 that's organized by Universitas Islam Bandung. My presentation is divided into four main, se four, four main sections, the introduction, the method, the result, and discussion, finally the conclusion. And it will take about 10 minutes to cover this issue and I'll begin from the introduction. In Indonesia, there are three systems for the distribution of assets of people who have died, based on custom, based on civil code or Bakhil Trekbut, and Islamic inher inheritance law. The role of law in Islam that specially regulates for her distribution of assets is known as Faraid. This is based on the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Al-Quran, Surah An-Nisa verse 7, and more details in Quran, Surah An-Nisa verse 11 till 12, and also 176. First kinds of issues regarding Islamic law often occur and are prosecuted in the religi religious court, so to minimize difference in the judge decision, Indonesia's Islamic law rules were made as a reference for the judge at the religious court in a compilation of Islamic law or KHI through presidential instruction number no. one of June 10, 1991. In this article, the research will explain the research article 181 KHI regarding the perspective of Islamic law. Next for the methods, this research is a quality research method with a normative judicial approach which the research examines theories, concept, or legal principle relates to the inheritance of the Kalala. The object of the research is article 181 KHI which describes the share of the inheritance of the brother and sister from the mother line. If the heir doesn't leave the child and the father, then each one will get one six. And this study's data source is a secondary data source, namely in the form of primary and secondary legal materials. And the data collection technique was carried out in this study by using the commendation technique and the data collected were analyzed using content analysis technique and critical of article 181 KHI as well as the first about Kerala. And the next we step to the result and discussion, the opinion of ulama regarding the mean of Kerala. At-Tabari, in his commentary book, explains the meaning of the Kerala as referred to in verse 12 of the letter and Nisa. He explained that what is mean of Kerala is when a man or woman dies and doesn't leave the father and son. Among the Ta'wil have different opinions about Kerala. For the first, Abu Bakar and Umar anhuma, the word Kerala has meaning, which no father and son. And Qatada, people who have father and child, no father, mean father, sons and daughters, and brother and sister from the mother line. Furthermore, in the Tafsir at Tawbari, it is explained that if a person dies from the mother line and doesn't leave the son and father, but leaves the brother and or sister from the mother line, then a brother or sister from the mother line gets one sixth of the inheritance of his brother. If a brother and a sister are gathered, or if there are more than one brother or sister, then they together get a third regardless of gender. And for another interpre interpreter, such as Rozi, explained in his book Tafsir al Kabir that Quran Surah An Nisa, verse 12, there are several discussions regarding Kalala. For the first, Abu Bakr, 
The word Karela has meaning which no father and son. And Umar Odelo'an, Karela is someone who dies without children only. Karela in first Kalala in first in address to the person who inherits or the deceased who doesn't have a father and children. The word Kerala is a form of master so that Kerala can be used for men or women or a group. The interpreters say that the word brother or sister in the first twelve is a brother or sister from the mother line, while in the first one hundred seventy six. It is a brother or sister from the father line. And the meaning of Karala is also found in the commentary book written by Kurtubi that when a man or woman dies without father and child or children, the person who receives or the person who gets the inheritance is called Karala. This is the opinion of Abu Bakar, Umar, Ali, and other scholars. Karala is explained in two ways, namely in verse 12 and the end of the first of Surah An Nisa, which is verse 176. The difference is that Karala, as explained in verse 12, is intended for brother or sister from the mother line. As for verse 176, it is intended for brother or sister from the father line. This opinion is in line with Zuhairis that Karala is that if a person dies without leaving a father or an child but has a brother or sister from the mother line, then a brother or sister will receive or get one sixth of the inheritance. If the number of brother or sister is more than one, they together receive one third of the inheritance. Then the following is an excerpt from this is already book Tafsir al Munir, which explain the strange opinion about the meaning of Karala, which was confided by Abu Bakr as Sirik. Uh, for, for the person dies without father and the children or, or the son. And for the conclusion, for this part, based on this interpreter's opinion, it can be concluded that the meaning of Karala it those who died. Believing their father and son in first 12 are brother or sister from the mother line while the brother or sister referred in the two in first 176 are brother or sister from the father line. The existence of brother or sister from the mother line will get one six from the inheritance. However, if they are more than one person without seeing a male or female, they will simultaneously get the one third inheritance. In context of two a brother or sister's existence from the father line, where the existence be uh, between brother and sister will affect the value of the inheritance obtained, like this, if there is more than one sister from the father line, they will get two thirds from the inheritance. And the next analysis of Islamic law on Article 181 KHI. Article 181 KHI. A person who dies without leaving the child and father, then the brother and sister of the same mother each receive one sixth of the share. If there are two or more people to them together, the, the, they get one third of the share. Article 182 KHI. If a person dies without leaving the child and father, while he has one biological sister or, or a sister who is the same father, then she gets half of the portion. If there are two or more siblings with a biological sister or a sister who is the same father, then they together get two thirds of the share. If the sister is together with a biological brother or brother who is one father, then the portion of brother is two to one of sister. If we look closely for the, formu the formulation of Article 181, KHI is actually a form of implementation of verse 12 of Leather and Nisa, where Article 182 of the KHI is an information of verse 176. According to researchers, the reading of Chapter 181 needs to be clarified regarding the large share of siblings. The use of the word and 
in this article tend to mean the meaning of existence. For example, brother and sister who are one mother. Each one of them gets one six. This system explains that the existence of a brother who is one mother will get one six, and the sister will one mother will also get one six. Yet, if we look at the first uh, that is based on this article, namely verse 12 of the letter Anissa, the language described is in the form of choice and he has a brother who is one mother or a sister who is one mother. Then, the portion of the inheritance owned by each of these types or or real relative type relative is one six whether only one brother or only one sister conclusion based on this interpreter's opinion it can be concluded that the portion of brother or sister who from mother line is a is one six of the inheritance if the deceased doesn't leave the father and the child and for all conclusions for the first i have we have three conclusions the share of the inheritance in brother and sister from the mother line has the same value one third one third or one six if the deceased this doesn't have a father or offspring then the brother or sister from the mother line will get one six however if the brother or sister from the mother line is two or more people and their shell is one third of the inheritance left behind